presented jointly by Victoria Memorial Hall and Sustainable Heritage and Policy in Kolkata of the University of Liverpool and Jadipur University thematic partnership. The exhibition is titled Calcutta Collages, an interaction with the city through collective initiatives. Once after the inauguration, you go into the exhibition, you will see that in kind of film parlance, if you were to put it, it's like a flashback and flash forward of, of same kind of images, uh, before and after kind of things. Very fascinating, wonderful. So I would like to request Dr. Jayanta Sengupta, the secretary and curator of Victoria Memorial Hall to kindly welcome the audience. And I would also like to request Professor Shukanto Choudhury and Obhijit Dotto to please take your seats here. Obhijit Gupto Dotto would say. <laughs> Tintin as he is popularly known. Uh, good evening, everybody. And uh, a very warm welcome to the inauguration of this exhibition uh, called Calcutta Collages, uh, Interactions with the City Through Collective Initiatives. And it's a great privilege and honor to tie up with Jadapur University once again for this particular exhibition. And as you know, Professor Shuranjan Dash, the Vice Chancellor of Jadapur University, was originally supposed to be present here and inaugurate this exhibition, uh, but for unavoidable and unforeseen official engagements, he cannot be present here today. And we are immensely grateful to Professor Shukanta Choudhury, uh, Professor Emeritus of English in Jadapur University, to be, for being here with us today and to say a few words about the exhibition and about the theme of Kolkata in general, which is just as well because he is, as you know, is one of the leading authorities of our time on Kolkata as he is on many other themes. Uh, and it's a great pleasure and also a privilege to have with us to collaborate with uh, Professor Ovijit Gupto, who is one of the uh, co-leaders of the Sustainable Heritage and Policy Initiatives in Jadapur University, which is in itself a collaboration with the University of Liverpool. So we have several themes and several research projects and exhibition sub-themes which are coming under one umbrella in this exhibition. And it had been our privilege to be associated with at least a couple of these previously. One of the themes that is being showcased in this exhibition, Calcutta Collages, is the augmented reality app called Timescape Kolkata which it was our privilege to launch from the Victoria Memorial Hall back in 2015. So Jadavpur University is common to most of these themes, followed by Victoria Memorial Hall, which has collaborated with Jadavpur University and the University of Liverpool for Timescape Kolkata, uh, and the British Library, whose images were critical to the making of the project Timescape Kolkata. Uh, and we also had the privilege of launching uh, Jael Siliman's uh, project called Jewish Lives in India and Kolkata, which is also being showcased here. So uh, it's an honor for us to tie up with these old collaborators once again and also to showcase some other themes. Uh, which are part of Calcutta Collages. This exhibition, like many of the other things that we do, has already evoked an enthusiastic response from the city's public. Uh, we have not, this exhibition is being inaugurated today, we have not yet put an end date to it. Originally, we talked about keeping this exhibition for only about two weeks or thereabouts, but 
now we know that this is going to be on display at least through this month and hopefully also about how depending on how things pan out over the next few weeks uh, hopefully for the first week of august as well so you will have the opportunity to view this exhibition and to come back to it for uh, nearly a month or thereabouts and that's all i have to say uh, for now once again for on behalf of everybody in the victoria memorial hall family i'm very thankful to jadavpur university the sustainable heritage initiative and all the faculty members as well as young researchers this exhibition has been i understand it has been literally put together by young scholars associated with this project so we are also very thankful to them uh, so that's all i have to say and we look forward like all of you to hearing professor obhijit gupto say a few things about this initiative which spawns this particular exhibition and then of course professor shukanto choudhury and his words on this exhibition and how that fits into the big picture of the history and culture of kolkata so thank you very much thank you thank you very much jayanto so i would like to now uh, invite the moving spirit behind this exhibition professor obhijit gupta who with the assistance of his very young and dynamic team has put this exhibition together to see a few words about the background of how it all came about thank you very much uh, thank you dr shin gupta for those very warm and encouraging words uh, i'm hardly the moving spirit uh, behind this uh, i'm in fact uh, more in the capacity as a placeholder uh, my association with project is quite accidental it is in fact the work of uh, more the work of professor emerita shupriya choudhury when uh, she was in the department of english jadavpur university and i want to talk a bit about uh, this project and its and the um, and its antecedents the sustainable heritage policy in kolkata is actually a follow up on two previous projects both collaborations between uh, the department of english at jadavpur university and the department of english at liverpool university in fact the two moving spirits behind these were professor shupriya choudhury from jadavpur and professor nondini dash from liverpool university she is from liverpool though she, we like to claim her as one of jadavpur university because she was a student there in the not so dim and distant past um, so the two original projects which le which led to this six month long shpk if i have got the initials correct uh, were um, the envisioning the indian city uh, a project which ran from 2013 to 15 um, which looked at in fact four indian cities Uh, pondicherry chandigarh goa and calcutta the portuguese colonial city the french colonial city the british colonial city and the modern indian post colonial city and out of that project uh, as well as a kind of uh, uh, supplementary project uh, we were able to develop an augmented reality app which dr shengupta spoke about called time skip kolkata uh, in which uh, one could point point one's handheld device at heritage buildings and would be able to call up photographs and images from the 19th century which have mostly been sourced from the british library collections and which you will in fact see in the uh, uh, exhibition shortly now what are the aims of this follow up project which we are currently doing um, it says on the tin um, the shpk project shares the unesco vision of attaining sustainable development goals through heritage conservation and community engagement its goal is to develop appropriate responses and solutions to heritage under threat and in doing so uh, develop newer approaches to understanding of how cultural heritage research uh, works and strengthen the vitality and sustainability of cultural heritage industries in order to attain these goals the shpk project seeks to bridge the gap between digital humanities initiatives such as the timescape application uh, and heritage conservation and awareness for instance one of the objects objectives of the project is to assess the impact of the app timescape kolkata by initiating students and heritage workers within the city uh, uh, to take into 
the digital humanities collective into, co collective into consideration while they walk around the city. So we were trying to integrate their experience, their feedback with the uh, experience of the Timescape app. Uh, we have, in fact, uh, at this point I should also mention that there have been three research fellows who have been working tirelessly to execute the various goals of this project. And if they could uh, perhaps uh, stand up, there is Mollika Rai Choudhury, who is uh, here. Uh, there is Aratrika Choudhury, who is in fact designed the entire exhibition, which you will see. And then there is Deepanjali Ghosh Choudhury, who are, each, who are each in charge of particular sections of this project. And work that you see, that you've seen before, um, and what you will see today and in future is entirely theirs. Um, as I said, we are me, I'm merely a placeholder. Uh, the research fellows have been engaged in adding to the ex existing research and improving the features of the Timescape layer application to make the experience more user-friendly and glitch-free. The software is currently going through a process of technological overhaul, and the team has already initiated a dialogue with the tourism department of the state government to give to strengthen this uh, experience. Now, the overarching aim of the project is to reinterpret the past through community-based research and engagement. The project team has been conducting extensive surveys across age and occupation from a range of people in Kolkata to assess their understanding and exposure to heritage, heritage and initiatives associated with heritage. Previously, and some of you may have been present, uh, the project organized a one-day workshop called Kolkata Tales and Beyond on 29 July at Jadhopi University, which saw the presence of persons from archivists to heritage walk organizers, historians, stakeholders in community engagement. And this was a beginning of a kind of multi-layered dialogue between the various stakeholders in uh, heritage conservation. The second and the current event in this uh, project is Calcutta Collages, interactions with the city through collective initiatives which aims to look at the ways in which people and organizations have worked to preserve the city's heritage. While the bulk of the content is sourced from previous projects envisioning the Indian city and Timescape Kolkata, the SHPK team is grateful for the contributions which have come from our other heritage projects, such as the Mesbari project, the Recalling Jewish Calcutta project, the Scottish Cemetery project, and the Motilal Shiel Legacy of Philanthropy Project. So you will find in this exhibition all these projects also being featured owing to the generosity of the uh, stakeholders who worked on them. To interweave the stories of the contributions, each of the contributions with SHPK's overall engagement, the exhibition aims to achieve a confluence of cultures and identities. And we are very grateful that Victoria Memorial has be been able to extend its help its, its, its generosity and its cooperation in putting this together has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, and so we hope that the location of this exhibition here will enable you to carry away various narratives and weave them together in, uh, 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 in the way that they should be. Exhibition has three broad segments. Um, the first, city as a colonial construct represented through visual documentation of colonial spaces through uh, then and now, a uh, flashback and flash forward, uh, as has been said, uh, between images sourced from, the car from British Library collections, mainly from the 19th century, and contemporary images. Uh, the city is a space of coexistence and refuge, as seen from, the, as evidenced in the efforts of restoration made by groups pertaining to, as I've mentioned before, the Mesbari project, the Jewish uh, uh, Calcutta, and the Scottish Cemetery, and the Motilal Shield project. The final leg of the project, which is about a month away, is to unveil a policy advisory document or a report which would um, document the heritage out outreach initiatives taken by the project and also try and evolve a kind of consensus, uh, reflect the conversations that have been going on for the last three months between the various participants, try and suggest some best practices and try and in a sense, create a roadmap for heritage in this city to be conserved and promoted. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. We hope you will enjoy uh, the exhibition put together by our research fellows. Thank you very much, Professor Ovijit Gupta. Uh, I would now like to request Professor Shukanto Choudhury to give his inaugural address. After that, we will proceed to the hall where the exhibition is. And on the way to the hall will be the formal inauguration. So, Professor Shukanta Choudhury. Thank you. And thank you, Dr. Shingupta, and you, Mr. Rajaraman. 
And uh, but actually, you know, I had been looking forward to coming to this uh, function and been looking forward to sort of sitting back there and just uh, sort of enjoying the show. But that this is, I trust, the last of many uh, you know, unexpected and embarrassing duties that have been foisted on me by various vice chancellors of Jadavpur University over many uh, over a long time. But uh, to have it happen so long after my retirement was unexpected. Anyway, here I am under Ross's after all, a very great pleasure and a very great privilege, just one for which I feel sort of rather uh, unprepared and also embarrassed on another count, which is that though I sort of belong to Jadopu University and this project and these projects, the whole line of projects that uh, Professor Obhijit Gupta has been talking about have been carried out in front of my eyes, I have actually had you know, only a very occasional and tangential relationship with them, which is my loss. But uh, so I feel particularly like a kind of interloper coming here today to sort of uh, 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 say these few words in the conventional phrase, but they will be only a few words. Um, actually, well, we have, of course, an advantage at Jadapur, which is that the biggest faculty on campus is the engineering and technology faculty, which, of course, has had all kinds of uh, interaction with the planning, the development, and the maintenance of the physical fabric of the city and its smooth operation. But in fact, for um, several decades now, the, uh, the arts faculty, and in particular, the English department over the last 10 years or so, has been uh, carrying out work on its own and also interacting with the technology faculty, in particular with the Department of Architecture. And uh, here, I think we should recall uh, the former professor of architecture who is now no more, Professor Monideep Chatterjee, who is uh, one of a distinguished engineer of the, the then CMDA, who then moved to Jadapur as a professor of architecture. I mean, a great deal of what I know about the city of Calcutta was learned from Professor Chatterjee, um, who was always welcome with the resources of his department, which at that time he headed, and also with his huge personal collection uh, of material on the city. And then his uh, uh, colleagues uh, who are currently running the department, we also have a very uh, fruitful and interactive relationship with them. And this undoubtedly has been one factor, but uh, other factors have been, in fact, the the great enthusiasm of uh, some members of the faculty at, uh, at a part of the, you know, the endless resource of, uh, sort of young uh, people that we seem to have at Jadapur. Students who then become researchers, who then become project fellows, some of whom finally become faculty. And they are interested in a vast variety of things, many of them in various aspects of the city. And they bring that interest and that hands-on expertise to all kinds of work which happens in the department. And uh, Obhijit has given you a good account of the various projects uh, which have been carried out that way over the years, and they all mesh, partly because it's the same people who are involved, uh, but often that's not so, but partly because they, um, you know, try sort of building up a picture of a kind of network of insights and surveys of Kolkata. Now, this is something that uh, you know, I personally feel very drawn by. Um, and here, I hope you'll excuse me, I'm speaking in a more personal vein for a couple of minutes. Actually, I mean, what uh, Dr. Jantu Shengupta said in his opening words, apart from being a quite undeserved compliment to me, also kind of misrepresents whatever interest I have in the city. I'm not really terribly interested and not at all knowledgeable and frankly not even terribly interested, certainly not sentimentally interested in the past of Kolkata, which if you look at it dispassionately has for a long time, in, practically since its inception, either shutting out its native residents or placing them at the wrong end of the scale or uh, you know, tracing the history of a kind of dismal saga of various kinds of misfortune that they have suffered over the centuries. 
in addition, of course, so much wonderful uh, intellectual and cultural development has also been happening in the city since the 19th century. But again, it's interesting how little the actual city of Kolkata features as a cultural space in that, uh, that entire um, transaction. And uh, actually, it seems to me very often that we sometimes use our nostalgia for the past, not only to misrepresent the past. I mean, uh, you know, I was born shortly after independence, so the not quite midnight children, children of about half past 12 or one o'clock in the morning, as it were. And I'm amazed when I see some of my contemporaries now looking back and saying what a wonderful uh, city it was uh, in the 1950s and how beautiful and well-ordered everything was then. Kolkata, the 1950s was, at least as I remember it, uh, by childhood memories, a kind of horror chamber after partition. Not only a chaotic city, but a city full of the kind of human suffering and misery that these days we see on TV or in news dispatches dealing with countries like I don't know, South Sudan and uh, East Timor and places like that, parts of Central Africa. Uh, but um, so I think we are in considerable danger of misrepresenting and therefore drawing the wrong lessons from the past of the city. But we also use it maybe uh, to protect ourselves from thinking too much of its present and its future, which is, uh, again, it's a slightly, um, as it were, um, a slightly um, sort of uh, uncharitable thing to say. But uh, among the things that the otherwise voracious interests of the, the Kolkata intelligentsia leaves frequently out of account, out of consideration, is the state of the city and its actual development, its actual operation, and that part of its heritage which you cannot readily capture in, uh, uh, you know, in sort of exhibit form, as it were, which consists of not just an ambience, but in operating systems. See. I mean, the, the most important heritage of Kolkata, I, I mean, we'd all agree if it's said as a kind of, uh, just as a kind of observation, a uh, most important part of Kolkata's heritage is the intangible. It is uh, the, the life of the people. And therefore, insofar as it can be physically projected, it can, can be projected in sort of entire uh, spaces and entire regions, the localities or institutions. By institution, I don't mean a building, but a kind of cultural practice. And attempts to protect this kind of heritage physically have so far not really got off the ground. There is, for instance, a long-standing proposal that uh, the College Street area could be developed into a heritage zone. Uh, not very much has happened in that way yet. And uh, at least College Street being bang in the center of the city with some inst important institutions along its course is in no danger of losing its physical existence, which is the case of other places which are out of sight, uh, out of our daily experience, and we are happy to remain that way. And the most obvious example that comes to mind that way is the East Kolkata wetlands. If the wetlands disappear, the city will disappear. It is in considerable danger of doing so. Over the last few years, particularly, there has been you know, rapacious uh, uh, sort of hijacking of the entire wetlands. And although today we have no reason not to know about it, it's sufficiently publicized, we in fact choose not to think about it, not to unite about it, uh, not to unite in that cause and in this way we do not realize that we are actually spelling the death of the city that we profess, that we profess to love. Now this is a long digression as it may seem. I'm kind of sort of maybe I've been blowing off a little steam uh, simply because uh, you know I mean it was asked to speak here of a sudden I don't have a sort of prepared speech that I got ready. But uh, 
in a happier way now. Um, you know, this uh, string of projects that have been carried out in my university over the last few years, this I find very heartening in that it tries to link the past of Kolkata to the present and thus hopefully to the future. See? Because it's recovering aspects of the past that can only remain physically if at least a modicum of attention is paid to the preservation of the entire city as a living space and a working space and a, a human space in its totality. These projects, and in particular, the one whose exhibition you're going to see, and as Obhijit has pointed out, you'll have other ways of uh, engaging with this project too. Uh, this project will, in fact, lead you through you know, past buildings, past institutions, uh, into the city of the present day. See, I haven't seen the exhibition myself, but I understand from the descriptions that it represents a remarkable kind of to and fro oscillation between the present and the past. You see, living in a kind of uh, total continuum of time. And that can hope that in this way, it will help to set us thinking also about the city's future. The future in which that past can be preserved, in which the present can be further improved. And I mean, a huge amount of improvement has taken place over the last 50 years. That again, we cannot deny. I mean, Kolkata is no longer the nightmare city that I recall from my childhood. Far from it. It is, uh, it is in many ways a, a booming and a vibrant city in a much more positive way than anybody dared to dream of down to the early 1970s, I should say. But to link all these periods in Kolkata's history, which are not only periods in time, but sort of uh, sectors of space, which you can still encounter as you go around Kolkata. See. To link these and sort of work them into a whole, I think all these projects and one of the most important of them being this one, here, which we are here to uh, witness today, these have all helped to create this kind of uh, consciousness. I congratulate everybody who has been uh, associated with the project and May I also, like everybody else at Jadapur, join, uh, uh, join them in thanking Dr. Shen Gupta for his uh, unvaring hospitality to anybody who's doing anything interesting in Kolkata. And the fact that you know, he has so much time for us, I think, is a kind of reassurance that, yes, maybe we are doing things that are worthwhile after all, uh, because he's making the space available to us. Thank you very much. And thanks and congratulations to everybody associated with the, with the exhibition and to all of you who have come here today to see it and to support our efforts. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Shukanta Choudhury. Uh, may I now, before we move to the formal inauguration, request Dr. Jayanta Sengupta to kindly hand over a memento on behalf of Victoria Memorial Hall to Professor Shukanta Choudhury. I would now like to request uh, Dr. Joyanta Shengupta, Professor Shukanta Choudhury, and uh, Professor Obhijit Gupta to kindly proceed to the exhibition area and on the way there to formally and symbolically inaugurate the exhibition by showering flower petals into a bowl of water. And I would like to request the young trio of resource scholars also to join in. Yale Suleiman, who is featured in the exhibition there in one corner, Aparajita Dasgupta, Mr. Amitava Karkun, and so on. Please, all of you, join in the inauguration of this exhibition.
doing this exhibition as you know. So the first segment will be on the material that we got from the first two projects that Dr. Gupta talked about, uh, Etik, Envisioning the Indian City and Timescape Volga. So the material that we got from that exhibition, we have tried to use that and tried to show the changing scene of the city. As uh, Professor Sudhavi pointed out, uh, how the past still stays in the present. Just, that's just what we have tried to do. We have tried to show how the past exists in the present. provided to us by the British Library for the former project and these photographs were uh, taken during the edit project Shri Here, we'll be able to talk about that. I think it's vanished. So the black and white gold wear photographs that you see were supplied by the British Library from their collection and the newer ones were taken by a photographer who is based in Jadok University called Poshi. That was during so, the ethic project? No, this was during the Augmented Reality Act project yeah. because we needed to uh, train the, the, the phone camera to identify the places that are there in the older photographs. So it's very interesting to compare because you can see how the landscape has really changed. And one interesting that I noticed while I was designing all the panels is the uh, how many more people you have in the photographs that have been taken in the present day. but as you will see in this photo for instance greenery definitely has not disappeared at least for St. John's Church and its premises